Hello, my name is Cal Streeter and I'm a professor in the Steve Hicks School of Social Work. I'm also the chair of the school's international committee. I've been privileged in my career to have traveled and worked with social workers all around the globe. In fact, many of the things you see behind me are gifts and mementos that I've collected from visits with friends and colleagues all over the world. I'm sometimes asked, well, why does the School of Social Work need an international committee? I believe the infusion of global social work concepts in the social work curriculum greatly enhances the educational experience and understanding of all of our students. Globalization, migration, and information technology have clearly affected the contemporary social work practice environment. But perhaps one of the best ways to answer that question is to share with you some of the experiences I've had with social workers around the world. For over 20 years, I've seen firsthand how protection officers with the UN High Commission for Refugees work to safeguard the rights and well-being of people who've been forced to flee their homeland, often with only the clothes on their back. Social workers play an important role in helping refugees find a safe harbor and provide psychosocial support to help them process the trauma they've experienced because of famine, war, and civil strife. In Tanzania, I saw social workers establish one of the first programs in Africa to support people diagnosed with HIV, long before much of the rest of the world even knew there was a global crisis. For years, they have provided aid and comfort for those living with HIV, and today they continue to provide support for the many children who have been orphaned by the AIDS crisis. In India, I've seen micro-lending programs that lift rural women and their children out of abject poverty and provide them with hope for a better future. I've seen social workers establish women empowerment groups that have helped transform the lives of women in rural villages. And I've seen social workers start social enterprises that are designed to provide some kind of so economic security for the poorest of the poor. In Japan, I watched the creation of the Tokyo English Lifeline that was designed to provide English language mental health and counseling services to, Japanese, um, to Japan's gra growing international community. I saw other social workers advocating the Japanese government to provide much needed support for refugees fleeing political oppression in Myanmar, and still others working to end the human trafficking in Japan and throughout Southeast Asia. I've seen the life-changing impact of small-scale infrastructure projects like a water purification system in Thailand, a solar electrification project for a rural health clinic in Guatemala, and Angan Wadi centers in rural India that are designed to provide care and support for mothers and young children. All of these projects were built by teams of social work and engineering students from the University of Texas in partnership with local NGOs. Not only do these projects transform the lives of people in those communities, but they were life-changing experiences for our students as well. I've been fortunate to have lectured alongside colleagues at at Addis Ababa University in Ethiopia, Helwan University in Cairo, Egypt, Loyola College in Chennai, India, and Herbert Karuki Memorial University in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I've seen the dedication and unwavering commitment of those faculty as they prepare their students for leadership in the social work profession in their country. And I've had the pleasure of celebrating World Social Work Day with students at Shah Jalal University in Salat, Bangladesh, the State Islamic University in Jakarta, Indonesia, and Loyola College in Chennai, India. I've witnessed the excitement among the social work students as they proudly embrace the noble calling they have chosen. These are only a few of the amazing experiences I've had in my 30-plus years at the Steve Hicks School of Social Work. So why do we need an international committee in the school? Because poverty and oppression, disenfranchisement, discrimination, pain and suffering exist everywhere in the world, and social workers are called to stand up for and with those who are too often left behind. I'm proud of our international internship program, the visiting scholars we've hosted in the Steve Hicks School of Social Work, and the many ongoing international projects we have in our school that are designed to build bridges with our colleagues around the world and to enhance the educational experience of our students as they prepare for social work practice in a globalized world.